Hey, what's up? Sambit here from Sambit PhD. So let's discuss two most important tech things that are happening this two, three months. Is the mainly like the Ethereum, which is basically blockchain type of coin in the blockchain and the iPad Pro that I bought. So as you can already see from the title of the video that this video will be about the uh, like how I in a very short time made some investment in the Bitcoin and all the altcoins. So basically like in different type of coins, the e-money, electronic money in blockchain and use the quick gains to buy the iPad Pro. But uh, this check this video till the end there are different parts in the video so at the end you will know like what happened was it a good decision or it was not a good decision so before i start this video just be sure to check the disclaimer because i am not a expert trading advisor or a trading expert so don't go by what i say i am just giving it for informational purposes please check this disclaimer very carefully for the next five seconds okay so let's start what is ethereum what is ethereum so if you go to wikipedia the first line will tell you like ethereum is a decentralized open source blockchain with smart contract functionality the native cryptocurrency that is there in ethereum is called ether and uh, it is the largest cryptocurrency after bitcoin in terms of market capitalization and Ethereum is the most used blockchain. There are so many foreign terms to people who have never been introduced to blockchain. So I'll give you a very simple example from food because I like food. So there are a lot of technical jargons in blockchain. Uh, you can read them on Wikipedia or different online materials. Maybe I can leave some links in the description below. But in this video, I'll just focus on the main highlights. So blockchain is basically like there are different blocks which manage your transactions by different hash values. So now I'm going into again the technical jargons. So I won't talk about the hash values and all. I'll give you a very simple example before I tell you on the high level overview, what is blockchain? So if you see like, okay, so if you see like uh, you are making a scrambled eggs or egg burji as we call in India. So then you take a raw egg, you break it, and then you add some spices and anything and make egg burji. So basically, once you are already from that state of coagulation of the protein, like you are going from raw egg to egg bhurji and then later maybe make a sandwich out of it or just eat it like that, then you cannot come back to the state of the raw egg. So if I tell you like, make, bring me back that raw egg from the egg bhurji or the scrambled eggs, can you, can you bring it? So you can't. So basically blockchain is something like that. So there are different blocks which manage your transactions online in digital. And you have this one block and then there's the second block and second block derives some values. It is dependent partially on the first block and then other things are operated there and it is produced there. They, they are the, then you get those things like the hash values and hash value validation and these kind of things which brings into picture the cryptography that is why they are called cryptocurrencies and then people who do these validations they get these rewards as crypto coins which are nowadays uh, just like stock market you can trade by different exchanges so uh, if i go by the first line of wikipedia uh, decentralized is basically like there is no central authority that is managing these coins so in real life uh, we have this government uh, which is regulating deregulating the market the banks these are the central authorities that play a pivotal role in managing all the money that we see nowadays even if it is digital or physical but cryptocurrency is something like it is kind of an electronic cash in simple words but it has no central authority overlooking it. It is just managed by algorithms, which we have designed, which are basically has values in simple words. They're very complex, it is out, of the, out there. So yeah, so if you understand this, then you can understand what is blockchain and uh, all these kind of things. So, 
So why Ethereum was created? Uh, why I'm talking about Ethereum? Because if you go to this coin market, like any exchanges, just like stock market, there are different crypto exchanges like Coinbase or Crypto.com, which I use for trading. I just started in April. Uh, I had this FOMO, so fear of missing out because uh, my friends and everyone were trading for a long time. I would not say trading. It's just like you're buying some crypto coins and you're holding to it. And then you see the value rise and fall. And depending on that, you buy more or sell more or something like that. So, so yeah, I would not call it trading because trading is a different thing where you can also short and do other kind of things. But it's just dealing with foreign currency, just like you do Forex trading. It is something like this. So the main advantages of blockchain uh, on which ethereum is also a kind of a blockchain and it gives smart contracts so the main advantage is that it is immutable so once you send something to someone's wallet or someone to someone then you cannot bring it back they can send you again but you cannot reverse your transaction so once you make a transaction it is registered in that blockchain and you cannot it is immutable so you cannot change and there's very little chance of fraud almost zero chance of fraud or um, hacking even though there will be a lot of caveats to it ethereum was created to enable developers to create these smart contracts where without any third party or downtime or any fraud possibilities you can deal with another party and there will be no third party in the middle who will be managing your contract and there are many other aspects to it so this entire environment using ethereum you can develop different dApps, which are the distributed applications and there are other applications and the good thing is that it is open source so it's rising very fast and my prediction it's not my prediction i've read a lot of articles from different hedge funds and following this crazy elon musk tweets and other people uh, so twitter is also a very good source of information regarding anything apart from bitcoins and others ethereum might overtake uh, bitcoin in terms of market capitalization even though it may not happen in maybe one or two years but it's bound to happen and you might be seeing now the the downtime is happening with all these cryptocurrencies uh, because when i started in april uh, i think at that time they started to rise really fast and in the mid may or something like that they started to crash it, people called like it was like a bust of the mini bubble of the crypto yeah so yeah so the timeline if i give you the timeline i think around mid april uh, 17 or 18 april i started investing a few amount of money and um, just to try out and see how this works uh, although if you have already read the disclaimer never invest too much of your savings always invest something which you are sure that you can lose don't go by anyone saying that you can double or because crypto is a very volatile asset so it can go up and go down i would say like in one day it can also go up by 50 percent or 100 percent there are currencies like that in india also you have different uh, if you are in europe you can my, use my referral link from crypto.com to invest in cryptocurrencies uh, they don't charge you anything for investing i think only when you withdraw you have to pay certain percentage of the amount that you uh, not on the withdraw while you sell sell some coins because withdraw and deposit within you is free because they have this sepa over booking which is like transferring currencies inside you i would say like uh, even if you uh, invest a very small portion just try out learn about the new technology uh, you will feel very i mean now you won't realize it so I won't also tell you to invest, it's up to you because I'm investing something like one or two percent of my savings, which I'm sure that if even if I lose because of a sudden crash or something mishappening, it won't affect me. So never uh, think of it like a lottery scheme or a Ponzi scheme and uh, invest 50 percent or 60 percent of your savings and then later regret if suddenly something bad happens because profit can be overwhelming uh, with such a volatile asset. but losses can also be very uh, heartbreaking so when i invest in 18th april then there was a brief bull run so on 18th april if you go to the markets there was a very nice crash um, i would not call it a crash like mid-may but locally it was not like a global crash if you see for a time window of one uh, month or two months 
but within that time period there was a small crash and then some of my friends suggested so i thought like why not dive into this emerging technology and be part of it so later after five or ten years if i hold on to that amount then maybe i will be very happy and uh, it might also become sometimes bigger who knows how much it will become in india also there are different exchanges you cannot i think invest in crypto.com you can use wazirx or coin dcx although which take in rupees um so before i go to the m1 ipad pro i would say like roughly if i calculate um i also invested on different altcoins so anything which is not a bitcoin are generally called in the crypto terminology as alternate coins or altcoins so ethereum i mean ether is also an altcoin and there are different altcoins like cardano cardano is really emerging and good if you read the technology behind it the white paper behind it the idea the developers the work that they are doing in africa and other places it's really, really inspiring and they are also going in the direction of saving energy because cryptocurrency has received a lot of criticism in terms of energy use uh, even though that is also very debatable if you go through articles uh, there are a lot of comparisons but i won't go into that so the idea is that uh, cardano solana um, ripple stellar polka dot so there are many like that so yeah so i invested small small amount in different altcoins and majority 50 percent of the amount that i invested was in bitcoin and ethereum ether so at that time ether rose really fast i think i invested around 1700 or 1800 euros you can buy in fraction because they are huge their price is very huge so i bought a fraction of ether and at the end when i sold it after 15 or 20 days uh, i got a gain of around 400 to 500 euros because at that time ether rose within 20 days from 1800 euro one ether value to 3000 something so it was a really meteoric rise at that time period and then this crash happened in may so what i did what i i'm going to say is that uh, if you have seen my unboxing video you must check out my unboxing video of the m1 mac air so i think i bought it for 1179 euros uh, which includes uh, the 256 gb like the apple pencil which costs around 135 euros and if you buy from the educational store then it was 125 euros and then i had the logitech combo touch keyboard all of these things all the accessories i'll be making a review video which will be coming soon within a week or few days uh, about the m1 ipad pro basically i bought it by seeing the features uh, the camera center stage augmented reality speech to text transcription and um, the power of the m1 chip which i was really fascinated because i bought the iP mac few months back in november and i was really really happy with the power that it gave with the m1 chip the logitech combo touch keyboard was for 200 euros and then there was this uh, additional apps that i bought from the apple store which will be covered in the review total three or four apps which are like 63 euros and then there was this so some total it's like 1577 euros so whatever profit i got from these altcoins and ether I mean, Ether is also altcoin, was somewhere in the range of 600 to 700 euro, euros. So it is basically, if you consider the total amount that I spent along with the iPad Pro and the accessories, which is like 1577 euros, so it is like 50% of what I spent, I got within a, less than a month from by selling these uh, crypto coins. But you know, like human greed, like uh, I would not say greed because I was trying out, uh, I should have hold it even if it dips and goes up and gives you that greed you need to control it and hold it if you are playing for the long term which will give you really high values because if you see the long term trend of the crypto uh, it is really has a very positive indicator even though you cannot say anything but slowly the world is changing and is moving towards decentralization and there are a lot of other debates going around it so the thing is that uh, around 50% I spent and uh, after buying the MacBook so at that time it was in my wallet in the exchange not in my bank account so I had not uh, received the profits it was just I sold it and then I was thinking virtually that okay I will use this profit is for my 
uh, iPad Pro. But later I found that um, when the prices fell like this, then I thought why not reinvest my amount and now hold it for the long term. And when I reinvested, I thought that that was the local dip. And after I invested, I think after one or two weeks, again, the price fell like this. It was a really rock bottom and it was like the mini bursting of the bubble. So, so it was kind of like whatever total amount you invest, I was like in negative 200 or 300 euros. So then I thought like, yeah, so this is a good uh, lesson for me that I invest for the long term and not fiddle around the short term and see the market every day, which I cannot also because I don't have that much time. So at the end, you can say like, even though I thought in my mind that I had invested 50% of my profit for buying the M1 iPad Pro, it was basically I used nothing. So because I reinvested everything, whatever profits I got and whatever initially I invested in the crypto market. So now I'm holding it for the long term with all these different asset pool of diversified coins. So I will make uh, review videos about the M1 iPad Pro, definitely. And uh, I will also make some videos about uh, lessons learned in investing. Because when I started my PhD in 2017, uh, I think in 2018 or 19, I started investing in mutual funds. Then I went to the stock market. Now I'm investing in crypto. So I have learned a lot of lessons by the losses and the profits and everything. So I will in make. So from this, you can take one lesson is like always invest small, small amounts because you never know whether it's a local dip or a global dip. So take small, small amounts and then see how the market is changing every day or every week here in this case of crypto. It is so volatile that a day is like a week or a month. I mean, the changes that you see in a day is such meteoric rise and meteoric fall. But anyways, I hope you learned something from this about Ether, Ethereum and investing in crypto markets and also about the M1 iPad Pro. So share this video if you like it. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. See you in upcoming videos. Till next video. Goodbye from Nalans. Peace.